This is the second tutorial, a series of tutorials about building a simple program and experiment in Pebble. So here we are in our tutorials folder and let's look at the second tutorial. I'm going to just select here and open it to open this up in a text editor that's built in. And I'm only adding maybe one line here. So first I still have this same window. And then I'm going to use a function called easy label. So this is a an all-in-one function that creates a label or a, a piece, a line of text that you can place anywhere on the screen. There's a there's a lot of things you can change and set about the label, including the font and the size and the position, but this does it all in one. So it's going to say press any key to continue. That's the first argument, which is the text. Then it's going to look at the X and Y coordinates. On Pebble and on most computers, the X and Y coordinates are counted from the upper left of the screen or upper left of the window. So this uses a built-in global variable called G video width and divides by two. So whatever the screen size is, and in our case it's going to be 928 pixels, it's going to divide that by two. So it's going to be 464 or something like that pixels, which is the middle of the screen. And it's going to place it 200 from the top. It's going to place it on the window called GWIN, which I've created here, and it's going to use font size 30. So now it's going to draw this, and again wait for an any key press to exit and continue. So let's run this and see what happens. Uh, so here it's centered. So labels are placed, their location of labels is placed by their center, not by the left or the right. So if you place a label somewhere, it places its center at that location. And so it's 200 pixels from the top and at the center because it takes the width and divides by two. Um, I'm going to press a key and it's going to continue on. So we can look at what would happen here um, if I wanted to change other aspects of this. Maybe I wanted to make this larger. I can look at that. Now you can see that it's a larger font. Um, and in fact, I can reuse this label when I'm done. So if I want to uh, change the text, I use lab, which is the variable name, dot text is equal to So I, here I'm going to have a change to this, and then I'm going to wait for a key press. And so think about what will happen here if I edit this and then do this. Let's see. So I run this, and I'm going to press the button, and nothing happens. I'm going to press it again, and it exits. So. As I had said in an early tutorial, you need to issue this draw command or else any updates you do to the screen won't um, show up. So I've updated a property of a label, but it's just sitting there as a property of a label and Pebble will not update what the screen is until I tell it to. Because maybe I want to update five things on the screen and I don't want them appearing one at a time. I want them appearing all at the same time. So it will save up all of the things I change until the next draw command is issued. Which means if I forget to issue that draw command, it just will not appear. So if I do this now, wait for any key, press any key to continue, I'm gonna hit, and then it says press it again, and it has the result we'd expect. All right, that's the end of tutorial two.